So I know what you're thinking. Christmas is over and you're left with so much ham you don't know what to do with it. Well, I'm here to help. The first thing, in my opinion, is break the ham down so you're left with usable pieces of meat and also the bones. So just have a little feel with your knife as to where the bone actually runs. And then what you can do is sort of work in reverse and carve back up the leg of the ham so you get these nice big pieces of meat that come straight off of the ham bone. There's another little piece there to take that one off. There's delicious soup to be made with ham bones. Get in there and just break that into a couple of pieces so it literally fits into a pot and then you can boil it away. So that can cook for up to two to three hours, really, those bones. Okay, now these pieces here, you can go through and just sort of cut away any of the excess fat and then go and dice this up. Right now, it's beautiful, succulent, juicy ham. So we've got that. Next, I'm going to show you what to do with those bigger pieces. You can cut nice big steaks like this so they're nice and thick. Now, don't forget the ham's already cooked, so you don't actually have to recook it, but it's nice to get a little sear on it, a little caramelization. So you can see here, with another old ham bone, I've gone and made a beautiful soup with carrots and celery and all the best things from the season. I've got a little dish, and I'm going to show you how it comes out. You can even leave the skin on the ham. So you can garnish it with some of that diced ham that we cut up earlier on. Over here I've got some boiling water and I'm going to poach some eggs in there. I've got some nice toast over here. Take a couple of slices of that into a nice hot pan. No real need for too much oil. You grab a, one of those big ham steaks, drop it on in. You want that to be nice high temperature so you can get that sear. You can see that little bit of fattiness that comes out of the ham actually in a good non-stick pan will cook the ham and give you that beautiful caramelization that you're looking for. Okay, let's have a look. Perfect. You can bring it straight over here to your pan. Pop it straight onto your plate. So once the poached eggs are done, you pull them out of the water, give it a good drain, and you've got a gorgeous meal. A little cracker pepper. On this plate, I've got some paninis that we've been sort of weighing down with another pan. There's nothing better than beautiful ham paninis. So crunchy and delicious. It's just how you want a panini. All the cheese is starting to melt, and you've got that beautiful flavor from the ham. Oh, yum. So the best thing to do is categorize the different parts of ham so you can use it. Beautiful steaks out of this one, dice this stuff up, use the bones for soup, and make the most out of that delicious baked ham that you served on Christmas Day.